Hi guys. Uh, today I want to uh, teach you how to cook ginataang tilapia. Yeah, this is called tinaguktok in Bicol. And we will start as fast as we could because later the kids will wake up and uh, this area will be noisy. So now, um, I would like you to know that uh, we will have this green leafy vegetable because this is very healthy. This is one of the ingredients of the ginataang tilapia. So, yeah, of course, we have here the coconut milk. Here. Yeah, this is the coconut milk. And we have the, this one, the fish tilapia. Tilapia, this is one kilo, guys. So, we will cook one kilo tilapia. And the ingredients, of course, what we will use in order for that ginataang tilapia to become delicious, we need to put this ginger, onion, and the tomato with. I still lacking one, the tomato one. Okay. Okay, guys. I will just going to prepare all the things, all the ingredients, and then later I'll go back with you. Okay? I'm done with all the ingredients, guys. Look, this is the onion. I prepare three medium size. I cut three medium size of onions, and uh, I have here uh, the ginger. Two thumb size, two thumb size of the ginger, and then I have three medium size tomato. This is the way I cut because I'm gonna mix it before I put in the fish. So I have one and a half spoonful of salt, and this is one fourth kilo of um, pechay. This is pechay. And one kilo tilapia. This is the one kilo fresh tilapia. Okay, so the first thing that we do is, and also this one, we will use this. This is the coconut milk. This um, consists of two medium size coconut. And now we're going to mix all the ingredients. Okay, we need this plate, this plate, because I'm gonna mix all the ingredients here. Okay, wait, I need to break because my hair is falling. Wait. We will start now, guys. We will mix all the ingredients in this plate before we proceed and putting it to the fish. Okay, guys. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, first. We need to put the garlic here, uh, the ginger here, and then also the tomato. You can put it together, and then the onion, guys. Okay, put all the onions there. Yeah, and then you put the salt. This is one and a half uh, spoon full of uh, salt. And then you mix it like this, guys. Yeah. You need to mix so the salt. You will put this in the pan, okay? I will open it like this. So you will put the coconut milk here. Yeah. It ice because I put it in the fridge. I put it in the freezer, and then I just removed it last night, so it is soft now. Okay, so I need to remove first my plastic because I need to open this. this set it for a very low temperature because we were going to put the these things, the vegetable over there. So what we will do is, we will mix the vegetable, we will put the vegetable, the fish in the vegetable. So we need to spread this, yeah, we need to spread like that, and then you put some vegetable here, yeah, and then put here, yeah, we will make a base like that. Okay, so let's make a base.
frying pan like that yeah the small one because we're gonna use the bigger one the in um, holding the fish like that so like that okay yeah it's nice they have the base over there plenty of vegetables yeah have a lot of vegetable just the small one you need to put all the small vegetable like that okay so actually it's up to you on how to how you put in the in the uh, pot but uh, me I just want a lot of vegetable so yeah I put like that and uh, the next one we will put the fish we need a big bigger like that and we will put something actually it should be whole fish but I want a smaller cut because yeah we're making a budget look guys like that yeah, I really need a bigger a bigger we need this bigger leaves that try It will be easy for them to get their, you know, part. My kids, I have plenty of children. I have six kids, so I need to do this. So everyone have their own part. Yeah, like that. So, I plenty. I need to... Actually, the... What do you call this? It's also good uh, cooking the head but sometimes um, this I will prefer to just fry this because sometimes there is some um, uh, bitter in this part so I'm not using that in the soup so what I will do in that part I'm gonna cook that I will fry that later so they have fried um, tilapia as well. It. I'm near. Yep. Almost done. Yeah. See? Yeah, I'm done. So what you will do with the remaining vegetable, you can just put it there. Yeah. Spread this. You spread on top spread on top and just put all the vegetable on top yes look just put all the vegetable on top and when it boils you can taste if it's if the salt is um just you know just suit or just enough and if it is a little bit um, you know we need to just add few salt. Yeah, we need to taste it when it boils, okay? So we can put all this, guys. We can put it here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I think the camera. Ah. So still. <laughs> I thought the camera is stuck. Hi, guys. Yeah, so it's ready to, you know, to cook. So I can adjust the, you know. I can adjust now this. I need to adjust it into the medium. Not too hot because you know, not too strong because it will burn. So, uh, just a medium, guys. Uh, you can adjust that in a medium. Okay. So, we will wait and then later we will cover it. When it's boiling, we need to cover so the taste will, you know embrace the the vegetable the taste of the fish will embrace the vegetable guys okay guys i'll go back and show you the finished product later okay yeah i don't have enough sleep guys i apologize but i would like to show you guys 
Here, oh, look. It's boiling now. Yeah, it's delicious, guys. Okay.